A medical breakthrough in the treatment of stroke patients, what some doctors call a real turning point in the field. For Don Sadaway, he was able to lead a normal life only months after suffering a stroke. The stroke was in December of 2012. In, uh, in March of 2013, uh, I traveled to India and spent uh, a week and a half giving talks. The recovery was really, really uh, remarkable and very, very fast. The usual stroke so treatment is a clot dissolving medicine cause, called TPA, but it doesn't always work. When TPA fails, new research out Wednesday shows brain stents can greatly lower the risk of disability by clearing a blood clot similar to the stents used to open clogged heart arteries. What is so revolutionary about these devices is that we go into the clot and pop open the stent, flaring open the passageway and pushing the clot to the rim of the vessel. This allows blood to pass through and restore flow to the vital tissue of the brain. And then we can take our time dragging the remnants of that blood clot out of the artery and into safety. The treatment was so successful, three studies testing the device were stopped early. Sadaway, a chemistry professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, underwent the procedure when medicine didn't work. Two years later, Sadaway says he's fine, except for some small problems with memory and fine motor skills. This thing essentially uh, saved life as, to, as I know it. But stent treatment isn't for everyone, especially if someone has already suffered irreversible brain damage. Doctors say the key to surviving a stroke is recognizing the warning signs, including numbness or weakness on one side, trouble walking or speaking, and to get help as soon as you can. Maggie Mazzetti, Associated Press.